here we go again saturday this time changing up a little bit yeah. as always my good friend christoph fail degustation in the house how are you doing hello everybody yeah this is a great day for for beer why not <laughs> yes it's beer o'clock it's definitely beer o'clock and uh, yeah we're taking a look at two beers from the first brewery uh which were kindly sent to me by christoph um if you want to do the honors my friend yeah, so first will be a uh, Hello Mellow Galaxy Dry Hopped IPA, 4%, uh, so quite sessionable. Um, there's n almost nothing on the, on the label, uh, just that it contains barley, oats, and wheat. Right? So I think it will be very, very nice uh, session beer. And then it will have... Citrus Cyclone, uh, West Coast Hoped IPA, 5.6%. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward, looking forward to them both, to be honest. I haven't had the pleasure of trying these because um, I just can't get them around my area. It's it's one of them one of them weird ones where it's been out for quite a while now, hasn't it? I think it came along with the, the first wave of beers. Yeah, that we I think it was, it was in May or something, or June. Yeah. Yeah, they've been out for quite a while. So, um, yeah, yeah, Christoph kindly sent me two bottles with, with some other beers. So, they're not to be um, misjudged with the Fuller's Vintage series because they've got a bit of age to them now because it's been a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me just get, just get uh, YouTube loaded up on my phone just to see if we get any comments and then we will crack on. Right, so we're going for the mellow yellow, I'm guessing. First one up, yeah. let's go for it. Oh, mellow, yes. Oh. Quite a nice fresh smell, actually. Nice zinginess to it. Yeah, it's, and it looks very nice. Golden color, clear, yeah. nice height, smaller yeah. medium bubbles. There are some, some big ones, and it looks like it will disappear very quickly, but so far, so, so good. Nice citrusy, zesty aroma, very, very nice. It's got, a, it's got a, a, a lovely, a lovely crisp cleanness about it. Yeah, very refreshing. Yeah, right. here's, a, here's a cup. It's not too um it's not too overboard on the nostrils is it it's just very, very subtle and delicate but nice it's very refreshing and, and uh, citrusy yeah a little little bit of caramel you know uh soft um quite ple pleasing quite pleasing caramel actually yeah okay let's have a try cheers cheers Nice, light, refreshing, very drinkable um, beer. Um, quite dry. Um, lots of lots of uh, citrusy notes. Uh, yeah, zestiness. Small bitterness. Um, there's a little bit of grapefruit there. Uh, some albedo, and um, yeah, quite nice. Yeah, it's pr pr pretty easy to get on with sort of session ale really isn't it oh yeah um i think i think for, for me it's 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 not completely void of flavor um it's it's there's a nice gentle mouthfeel to it it's 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 definitely quaffable it, i mean you know it's it's a session ipa at four percent would i want to drink a few of these it's got that factor to it for me, I think. Yeah, I you think know so. what? Uh, yeah. Because because this beer still have a nice beer body, right? It's much better than some some of the session IPAs that are, that are, which they are very 
dry, very watery. But this one is is okay. It's like you know the um, bitters bitters body with mm. nice hoppiness. Yeah, the, the the body does carry it over the line, doesn't it? Because yeah, I'm I'm sure you've come across it before. You've had a, a, a beer with session IPA written on it, and it's been a bit watery. Yeah. Let let lets it down, doesn't it? This this yeah. the body of the beer is not too bad for me. Yeah, nice little bit of citrus in there. Yeah, I think because because um, Fuller's is uh, like quite um you know traditional brewery um they can they can manage low abv beers uh what they used to do like you know the golden ales or bitters because they still have nice nice body oh hello 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 craig um uh, but still still have so, some nice body that you can you can enjoy um and just add some some nice uh hop we'll try to mate thanks yeah, for stopping yeah. by chap enjoy yourself in london yeah like you <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's, it's it's well placed um in the supermarkets um you know you've got you've got the 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 regular guys that buy fuller's beers week in week out uh, this is a nice addition isn't it along with the fullers i did notice on their website though that, that they don't actually give a mention to these two beers no uh, like you know what i think is the same the same story as um, with all those collaborations and uh, you know fullers friends uh, they don't exist on the fullers site no no i mean the, the, these these are standalone beers you you think they'd sort of have a little bit of a brief description of whatnot of you know the beer and stuff yeah. but i couldn't i couldn't see anything on there when i when i was doing the the uh, description for this video just trying to find a li little bit of information to to put down below and yeah there was nothing whatsoever on the website lists and lists of um different beers, but yeah yeah but nothing and, and that, yeah yeah, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice um, easy to get on with session IPA for me. It's decent. Yeah, very very um, refreshing, uh, with nice body, uh, little bit little bit of you know caramelly accents there, but yeah, quite nice. Not too gassy. Uh, yeah, maybe they they added a little bit of uh, CO two, but yeah, it, it's quite nice. Mm. If it, it feels soft on the mouth, hmm, I like it. It's, it's it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, yeah. There we go, guys. That is the um, the Fuller's Hello Mellow <clears throat> Galaxy Dry Hopped Session yeah. IPA. Yeah, yes. Yeah, good, good. Not bad at all. Right, onwards and upwards. Right, and the second one, Citrus IPA. Uh, citrus cyclone. All right. So you know, um, well, we will see if if it will be you know a uh, storm of citrusy accents. Yeah, I mean the the, the back it, it it sells it to me on the back with with the de uh, the description. Uh, all American hops collide with a grapefruit peel, yeah. pulp, and juice to deliver tart flavors. Brace your taste buds for a citrus cyclone. Well, let's I'm go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same amount of smoke on the oatmeal on that one. You know what? There's no aroma. I do like a good West Coast IPA. All right, so just to see how full it is. Just in golden color, clear. Uh, nice head. Some big bubbles developing, but so far, all right. Big head on mine, two finger, yeah, bright, oh. bright, creamy head. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting a great deal on the nose, mate. I must admit, oh. 
maybe a li little bit of uh, maltiness here, um, some caramel, but tiny, tiny zestiness, uh, very. Which it, it surprises me because this 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 session IPA, you get you yeah, get it's, it's full of flavor, yes. Yeah, you get nice of citrus. I, I was expecting this West Coast to really, really sort of give yeah. some off on the nose. Especially when <laughs> when you see this, such a label, you know, cyclones. Yeah, yeah. Citrus cyclone. I was all, well, hopefully, hopefully it will deliver on the taste, mate, because that's what it's all about. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's a West Coast IPA. <laughs> you know what? It's like you have um, medium body of some some pale ale, uh, and then a little bit of hops, but just a little bit. Definitely, it's not the citrus. Uh, citrus, uh, yeah. citrus one. Um, Little bit of marmalade, little, little bit of you know zestiness, but I want pine. I want pine. I want resin. I want I want bitterness, chlorine bitterness, because that's what the style is, really, yeah. isn't it? And this this is, um, I mean, but... yeah, it's 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 there's, there's no there's no sort of like nasties to it. There's no harshness. Or anything like that. Definitely, it's very, very subtle. It's it's, it's, it's uh, a very, very toned down. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's just a eye of the cyclone when when you have you know <laughs> silence, <laughs> silence, no uh, no wind at all. Uh, so yeah, I do, I do I do get that 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 grapefruit in there. For me, it's a little bit on the synthetic side. Um. It is like a um, zestiness um, in bitterness, a little bit of albedo, but really it's just uh, barely noticeable. Yeah. You know what? If, if we if we would uh, uh, change the labels, probably it would be all right because it's very mellow. I, I was I was expecting out of the two beers, I was expecting this one to really be the the the, the choice of the two. But for me, no, I, I think I think the session IPAs have got a yeah. little bit more going on for it, really. Much more. Definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit disappointed because, like I say, I do I do like the Westos. West Coast style IPA, um, but I don't think they've—I don't think they've—they've they've nailed it with this, really. Yeah, you, you know what? It's just a disappointment from from the um, label. You would expect something, you know, uh, furious and you know, bold, but here yeah. it's just um, nice pale ale and you know, slightly uh, hopped. Other than the. The, the 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 synthetic grapefruit back end on it for me and a little bit of bitterness yeah it Nothing is a little bit soapy on there yeah i think if I, if, if I was going into the supermarket to buy these beers again it would it wouldn't be the citrus cyclone no, I'd, I'd, go back, I'd go back to the session IPA. I'd, I'd purchase that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a problem with with having that again because that's 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 quite decent actually. Um, yeah, you know, it's just this is my impression that if if you would change the labels, uh, more or less it would be okay because you would expect you know session IPA to you know the settled and uh, soft, uh, maybe with with both uh, aroma. But yeah, there's nothing bold. Very, very subtle beer. Um, 
with barely nothing in taste and uh, aroma. Mm. Yeah, you about sum it up there, chap, to be honest. Um, it is a good beer itself. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfectly drinkable. To the, to, the, to the label, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's perfectly drinkable, but you, you can't sort of um, link it up to a West Coast IPA. If it, if it just had, maybe if they just got away with sort of like, I don't know, grapefruit IPA, maybe that would have been a little bit more acceptable because I, I do pick the grapefruit up in it. Whether it's synthetic or genuine, I, you know, that, that doesn't matter, but I do get the grapefruit in it. But to have West Coast labelled on it and to not to not get any of that West Coast vibe for me, it lets it down. You know, Fuller's, they are, they are, they are a solid brewery. Um, I mean, yeah, are these prototype beers? I don't know. To say it, it, the information's not available on their website. There, there is information on the on the internet about the beers, but nothing from the Fuller's website. So maybe they're just messing about with these, you know, I don't know. I don't know where the uh, uh, fullest testers were, uh, you know. Yeah, it, it is nice beer, but uh, it's not citrusy enough. And definitely it's not the West Coast. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's no West Coast. It's it's miles off from the West Coast. Miles off. Full of solid, just nothing spectacular. Yeah, um, it, like a you know, like a lot of breweries. Fuller's for me, crud stuff all day long. Their ESB is rock yeah. rock solid. London Porter, Golden Pride, Black Cab Stout. Them sort of beers, yeah, they, the they, they know beer. what they're doing. No messing about. They know what they're doing with them beers. And and when they dabble about with this, let's just say craft side of things, it goes a little bit sideways for me. And, and it's, it's happened before with other breweries, like Black Sheep. Again, another solid trad brewery, if you, if you want something classic. They, they do it to a T. And then they, they dip their toes in the water with some of these um craft cans and stuff that they did and they, they just don't i don't know it just doesn't sit right with me i don't think you know they should just stick to what they know best yeah um, they, they trying um so some of the beers are, are quite quite uh, okay mm -hmm. you know what not always um the description of the new or you know crafty crafty uh styles are doing very well on non you know traditional yeah. traditional brewers you know they're trying to do something yeah but, but but it's it's i don't know for me it's a little bit keeping up with the joneses um you you, you know you've got craft breweries from the from the from the start making solid breweries yeah. and then you've got these traditional guys wanting a piece of the pie it's so hard to, yeah. to replicate something that the other guys are doing and get it to a t it's very very difficult you know what i think it's just the, um thinking because they want to do something you know uh, that would uh, be crafty uh, but they want to sell it you know in huge numbers so it's more traditional than, than crafty Definitely. Mm. Um, yeah. If you if you would think about beer uh, in craft way from the beginning, it would be something different. But if you're like, okay, we will tweak the old old beer that we have, you know, adding a little bit more hops or changing a little bit, uh, usually it's not so great. Mm. Well, they didn't didn't follow us. Play about with their golden pride and do a do a crafty version of that, you know, unfiltered, unfiltered yeah. London pride, wasn't it? And and I didn't, I, I just did not see the point in it myself. Um, I think I've reviewed it way back, but I didn't, I didn't like the beer. 
it, it was it was just i don't know just couldn't see the, the purpose in it but london pride on its own fantastic traditional beer no complaints yeah. with it you know if that's what if that's your thing i don't know it's just this this west coast opt ipa um yeah it's falls very very short but the session ipa is really good oh yeah yeah definitely it's very refreshing and citrusy uh all evening yeah mm. I just had just had a sip of the West Coast, and I've just gone back to the session, and it's just, yeah, yeah, definitely. Aroma in session IP, uh, it's much, much, you know, more exciting than uh, citrus, cyclone, whatever. Yeah. It is a little bit citrusy, but definitely nothing what you would uh, describe as cyclone. I mean, would would you would you pick one of these over one of their core traditional beers? Not over. Uh, in addition, you know, the, yes. Uh, but you know what? If you if you would have uh, no um, to choose one of those, and uh, you know, like Porter or you know uh, ESB, <laughs> wow! Well, you know the old ones are you know exceptional and always yeah. always will be you know the the great choice. This yeah. one, uh, well something nice to try yeah it, it again it's it's it, for me it's a new beer i haven't tried it i've ticked it i can say i've had it would i go back to the west coast no i wouldn't the mellow the, the hello mellow yeah i would i would say that's a beer that i would revisit yeah it's what to try it's what it's, it's one to try but the west coast no, if you if you do like your West Coast IPAs, you're, then you're going to be very very disappointed because it it doesn't give you that. It doesn't give you that. But still drinkable. It's definitely still drinkable. It's yeah, you know what? If you were to give this beer to someone uh, who just started a craft uh, journey, probably it would be okay. But the yes, there's is that there is that element to it. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I suppose a gateway, a gateway into West Coast. Um, yeah, you, you, you could you could get away with that, I think. But for somebody that not drinks a lot of West Coast, yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. It it, it falls short. But you, I mean, I don't know about you, but certain beers. When I first started drinking. Or, or experimenting shall we say with beers that i was comfortable drinking with and then trying something new um and i was like wow what's this all about and then you go back to it and it's like i used to love this beer but i don't <laughs> like it anymore yeah yeah you know what uh, it's it's something that uh, when i've tried first time <clears throat> uh, english beers I just, you know what, that's not very good. <laughs> uh, especially because I had, like, you know, the um, cause. So it was a uh, bishop's, uh, yeah, bishop's finger. finger. Bishop's finger, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, Spitfire and something like mm, Well, they are strange. They are strange. Yeah. Not really for me. And then I learned to like it. Um you know, knowing the style, it's a huge advantage because you know what to look for. Uh, I learned to like uh, caramel. That you know, it was just awful before. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it, yeah. it is a journey that you, you need to try, and you know, like 
try again despite that first attempt would be like eh, no i don't like it really but if you think about this you know and try again yes <laughs> it's it's you yeah, know what? Yeah. It's the is the same is the same with Belgian beers, right? We're still learning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, despite yeah. The, theoretically they are very simple. Maybe because they are very simple and you know delicate, you have to like spend a lot of lot of time and uh, you know, drink a lot of beer uh, to find good things about the, those beers. Mm. I, de I, de I definitely need to try more belgian beers um yeah i mean they're, they're, they're fantastic they are fan the ones that i've had so far have been really fantastic um yeah full on full on com complexity um not not messed around with or anything like that but brewed for years and years the same way which which i really like actually i, I like how they've just remained focused on this is this is how it's brewed and this is how we're doing it and that's it you know yeah. and the branding as well you know they haven't sort of tried to sort of glorify it and jazz it up it's just it is what it is and i do like that and and the same goes for you know german german beer as well that's you know classic classic easy drinking stuff oh yes that it's not messed around with um i know when i first started trying craft beers this is i've probably said this before probably going back about five five or six years i wanted to sort of like leapfrog myself into it more and more without sort of taking tiny steps um and i, I can remember trying for the first time brew dogs coco psycho imperial yeah. stout <laughs> i don't know around about the nine nine or ten percent mark somewhere like that and I opened it. And I was really excited about it. Oh, an imperial style. I've heard really good things about this. I saw people's reviews on YouTube, tried it, and it was like, this is just full on alcoholic, boozy harshness. <laughs> I was so, so disappointed with it. Uh, but now, yes. you, just, you know, you, you, you have to sort of get your head around it, don't you? And I love it now. Imperial Stout is one of my favourite styles of beer. The yeah. boozier, the better. Yeah, I never, I never had the problem with you know, uh, dark, uh, strong beers uh, because I always w was drinking um, um, Baltic pol porters, mm -hmm. and uh, I usually bought eight, nine percent, or ten, or even more. Uh, so yeah, I had no problems with this. Um, but yeah, something something like English ales are just well. It was very strange for me. Yeah, As, especially all you know, the, the full on caramel bitters. So no, no, no. Yeah, it was hard to, to digest. And, and what's your as your as your view changed on that now over the years? Uh, well, like I said, I learned to like it. <laughs> okay there's a bit there's, there's a little bit of tolerating in there then is it not <laughs> yes 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 i know what i know i know that it should be like this uh, so yes um maybe it's not my you know uh thing that i would i would look for it oh. but i know that it is you know like a stamp uh, yeah 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 there, I mean, there are there are some there are some good traditional English bitters out there. It's a style that I do like when done right. But you you know you, you only have to have a couple of really bad ones, whether it be bottle or cask. Yeah, yeah. You you know what's this all about? I mean, you know, beers like John Smith's and stuff like that, and Tetley's, and you know, they're just not proper rep representations of of that of that style really. But they're they're drunk by by many and and fair play you know if i if that's your thing whatever you know it's it, yeah, it's you know it's none of my business if you drink that or not i've done it myself in the past same with macro lagers you know oh yeah
Yeah, I, I had the problems with the macro lagers uh, here in, in England because first I've tried, you know, those, those Carlings and Stellars and uh, Fosses and doing like, oh, oh, oh. it's just the water, there's nothing there. You know, I, I used to I used to drink you know, full body to, you know, Eastern Europeans lagers. Uh, they, are, they are full of maltiness and, you know, mm. more, you know, nice. Uh, but if if you got such a you know uh, watery thing, you know, like, what's the point? Yeah, yeah. So Scott Harris, uh, logger for years, matured to bitter, gravitated to IPA, mainly punk, before trying new things. Taste was changed. Yeah, I, I was I was the other way around during my my youth. All my mates took the piss out of me because I used to drink bitters and milds, and they were always on the bloody Carlin, well, it was Carlin Black Label back then. Um, and then, then Carlin Premier came out in a big bang. But, I, you know, I used to drink bitters and, yeah, at, at Mich Mitchell and Butler Mild I used to drink. And then I used to have a Worthington's Cream Flow, Bass, Banks is Bitter. Um, and then I, I went the other way. And, I mean, I still drink them, you know, that, that style of beer, but... I, I'm appreciating lagers a little bit more now, especially especially the foreign ones. Yeah. Um, because they're they're just miles, miles ahead of the game when it comes to English lagers, mass produced English lagers. They just they wipe the floor with them, you know. Yeah. Whether yeah. it be whether it be a macro lager from Bulgaria or even Christoph's, you know, hometown of Poland. They just wipe the floor with with English lager. They just can't seem to get a, a decent mass-produced lager, which is disappointing. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm punk IPA. Yeah, that's a. That was, yeah, the, the the debate is out on that one, isn't it? Whether it's it's been messed about with and stuff. But I can yeah. remember trying it for the first time. Yeah. And I really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe our taste changed dramatically. Uh, yeah, the, well, there is there is that to factor in it as well. Um, my my personal opinion, from trying it way back, and having a bottle, I don't know, two or three months ago, it's toned down for me. But maybe that is my palate. I don't know. And the jury's out on that one, but. Yeah, the, the very first time it was like, wow, what's this all about? <laughs> complete, complete bombardment of bitterness. You know, it was. Yeah. It was. It was very, very exciting at the time. But I think that's with the whole, the whole nature of this. It, I mean, it's a, it, you know, the beer industry at the moment is a complete animal, isn't it? You know, and you, you oh, just yeah. got to run with it. You just got to run with it because it keeps, it keeps evolving. More or less week in week out, doesn't it? It's it's crazy. Oh, yeah. It changes. It changes. You know, uh, not so not so long ago, it was you know, like um, uh, uh, quite like honey, honey. Oh yes, this is very good beer, honeydew. Honeydew, yeah, so, yeah. Another so solid offering from Fuller's. Yeah, definitely. You you can taste honey there. Yes. <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 an absolute embarrassment that is that beer <laughs> it's changed too much bunk okay yeah uh oh yeah definitely it was yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Must, yeah, indeed. I mean, they've definitely got their their foot in the door with the supermarkets. Brewdog have. Um, in, interesting to see how this new beer pans out with Cloudwater. This this New England IPA that they're rolling out. Well, I think it's available now, but of course, my Tesco's haven't got any well, of these new beers well, in at all. I, I was in Tesco yesterday, and uh, they were just you know empty shelves. So uh, I hope that it will be something new there. Yeah, it should, it should be coming to mind within the next few days. I, hopefully, touch wood. I think there's about 10 new beers. Um, but go and check out uh, Dave the Beer Dad. He, he's already done a couple of uh, reviews of the, yeah. uh, the, new, 
the new beers out the cloud water and brew dog versus uh new england ipa and i think he's done um i think it's a vocation beer that's come out as well so wow. interesting interesting to see how they they they, they pan out yeah, they've, they've done it. We will see what what we will have. You know, probably uh, I will have completely different beers than than you. Yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah. I'm I'm sure there'll be I'm I'm sure be, there'll be something that one or the other can't get hold of. Yeah, you know, so every, everyone will be like uh, uh, trying to get a beer, you know, and, and like, okay, where is it? Uh, yeah. Probably it will be somewhere you know that far away from the brewery, but near the brewery. Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how. It, I mean, you know, it all it all makes it all makes for, for a, a beer reviews, if nothing else, doesn't it? You know, it's new. I'm quite excited about it. I think that I think the last lot of beers that they came out were were, were pretty good. Yeah. Really, there was there was a few bad ones in there, but the majority pretty good yeah but i think it will be another another way for uh, you know um higher prices again um because i saw on the on the, on the different ones you know the on the um usual beers that are like 10 pence um more expensive now what three three pound ten and opposed to three pound a can uh, no, you know that when you have you know ordinary beers, you know for one seventy or something. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And now it's like one one eighty. No, okay. Same reason. Uh, so yeah, I, I think it will be a little bit, a little bit more expensive again. Mm. I think from from what I can gather, I think all the new four forty cans that are coming out uh, are three pound um i i don't I, I think that's a decent price for myself yeah there might be a few guys out there that think think that's a little bit expensive but for me a guy that goes to bottle shops when i can and and uh well you can just you have, you have to rein it back seriously you have to rein it back because you i'll have one of them i'll have one of them you've got like i don't know six or seven beers in your in your basket and you and it's like bloody 40 odd quid and you think oh jesus christ <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no that can go back that can oh now i really want that though uh, you end up it's mind games in your head then yeah, yeah. Like, you want a budget maybe you next time like, you know, in my pocket someone's got a gift <laughs> Yeah, especially especially on on the start when you have a new, uh, oh yeah, Los Cosmonauts. Yes. Yeah, yeah, beer, uh, beer, beer, supermarket beer of the year for me. That was yeah, very good. Yeah, uh, really, really good. Solid. You, when, you, when you have new uh, new lineup, you would like to take everything. <laughs> because everything is new. Everything you oh, excited. Right. Think... Is there any real budget supermarket beers you like? uh yes plenty it's it's like uh um what it is the old-fashioned ones yeah and the core uh core beers are very very good uh i always liked um uh I've got I've got a soft spot for badger beers. I quite like badger beers. Yeah. Um, this is my my wife's favourite, right? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people really like that. Yeah, it's it's a big seller. But you have um, like a smaller smaller uh, breweries like uh, Allendale. Maybe just a local, but you know, like uh, bad coal. Yeah. Uh, they're very good, uh, very good, and uh, reasonable priced. Uh, what else? Buja, yeah. That, that, that's it, that's wow. it. I think he means, yeah, 
when I say budget, I mean oh, oh test okay. Ashfield. Yes, you know what? I think uh, Ashfield is just a, a rebranding of uh, um, Tesco value. Uh, because uh, you have you have uh, Ashfield uh, bitter uh, Ashfield uh, lager, and then premium lager, and it fits uh, exactly in uh, old Tesco beers, mm -hmm. uh, almost in the same price. Uh, I think the Ashfield premium lager is even lower than um, premium uh, um, premium lager from Tesco. Yeah, just a little bit, but it's the same brewery. So you know, I, I can't stay. I can't stay about any of them beers. Uh, Scott Harris, he loved going to bottle shops, but you say the price ramps. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You, you, yeah, it's it's <laughs> quite scary, really. It's quite scary. I mean, you, you know, and when you look at some some of the special beers, the seven fifty bottles. Um, yeah, you know, and, yeah, and that's. Like, yeah, it's quite you, you 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 have got to be a little bit more sort of reserved when, when you do go in there. If if you're on a budget, if, if money's no object, then yeah, fill your boots. I've, I I mean if money was no object for me, I'd be it'd be like supermarket sweep. I'd be just chucking them in. I wouldn't, wouldn't worry about it. But I've got a family, bills to pay and all that. So uh, yeah, I've got I've got to be a bit sensible. But I do, I do enjoy going into Storm now. Very exciting places to go in. Um, but yeah, very pricey. Yeah, Badger. especially uh, yeah, Badger. Yeah, Badger, Badger is yeah. really good. Yeah, we've done a few Badger beers, haven't we, in the past? Yes. Yeah, it's quite quite nice. And they are not very pricey. So yeah. Yeah. Usually, you you can have them, you know, like uh, for. For six or something. Yeah, that that is uh, a fantastic beer. Yeah, Leeds Patronus. Yes. Yeah, really, really good. That is. I was I was made up with that one when I had it. Uh, it's a beer that I've gone back to quite a few times. Just just price point, it, it nailed, absolutely nailed. It's a good a good drinking experience when the weather's nice as well. Yeah, whole uh, whole range from Lidl's is quite good. You know, you have yeah. different different beers, and they are quite nice, especially IPAs. I tell you what, I had the other day from, I think it, I'm not sure if it's Lidl or Aldi. I think it's Aldi. I didn't review it. I just I just opened it. I pulled it out of the fridge and opened it, and it was Go Ghost Dance. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, <clears throat> I think I think I know what, what you mean. Absolutely horrible it was. Some of it, whether it was a dodgy can or not, I don't know, but didn't like it at all. It tasted like petrol. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Some of, some of it went wrong somewhere along the lines. But again, I think that was only about I think it was about a pound a can or something like that. And uh, there are some some beers there. Um, orange IPA is something. Uh, yeah, it's just not really good. No. Yeah. I put on my shop in South Birmingham. Or some of those maybe. Yeah. Again, you know, absolutely traditional all day long. Done to a T. Most of their beers, I've, I've not had a bad Sam Sam Smith's beer to be honest. Not brown. Now that's that's a, that's a good blooming beer. That yeah. is. They do they do a pretty decent imperial stout as well, which is reasonably cheap, around about the two pound odd mark. Yeah, they, they have you know quite a quite a big range of uh, different different um, porters and stouts. Yeah, yeah. They do a good wheat beer as well. If you like wheat beers, try try the the Sam Smith's wheat beer. That's pretty good. Um, cheers, mate. What else we got? 
Jazz of original. Uh, well, original. Yeah. You know what? Uh, for a strange reason, I would uh, um, like uh, you know uh, more medium strength than than drought. Uh, for me, it has a little bit more flavor than drought. Mm. Again, that, that Guinness for me is just one of them beers that I do like. You know, a guilty pleasure. Call it what you will. It's just a you know if, if you you're in that situation where I don't know weddings normally for me weddings or christenings and, and places like that and you and you get you get invited out and you look at the bar list and it's Carlsberg, Carlin, Tetley, Guinness. And usually you have a Guinness. Oh, going to go to Guinness all day long. Guinness. Yeah. In this situation, usually I'm trying to get you know the, some foreign uh, foreign lagers, like like uh, Bira Moretti or something. There's more there's more in it than you know Carlings. Yeah, Bira Bira Moretti. I don't mind that. I think that's that's not bad. Yeah, that's what I was doing last time on on a wedding. You know, Bira Moretti. All, all Bira, the time. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfectly. Well, I don't mind it. I drink that. Yeah. Don't mind Heineken either. Give me pleasure again. Yeah. Uh, last year I was I was on a wedding in Poland and uh, this was a very good situation for me because it, it was a Zivitz uh, Zivitz lager on the uh, on drafts. Yeah, I was I was drinking beer all night. It was great. Yeah. Cheap as well. <laughs> oh. Well, in Poland, everything is free. <laughs> you, you can drink as much as you, as you want, whatever you want. It's not your it's, problem. It's all on the house. Yeah. Mm. We got here. Um, yeah, Mac is in stout. Another. Yeah, no, surprisingly, it's quite good. It is for the for the ABV. For, for the type of mouthfeel and experience that you get, and then you look at the ABV, expecting it to be water, and it's not. It, it's it's really, really creamy drinking experience, Mackersons, and, and quite cheap as well, isn't it? A four-pack of them. It's not a lot of money, really, for a four-pack. I know they're only 330s, but good. Yeah. Yes, yes. Come to a tea again. Bishop Nick. No. Bishop Nick. No. That's um the beer hooligans neck of the woods as well. He might have mentioned that before in the past. Any good? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so, sometimes it would be, you know, very, very um, uh, entertaining, you know. And you, you like some beer, and uh, someone else trying to, oh no, 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 it's not. And you're trying to convince, them, but you know what? There's lots, of, lots of um, flavor in this beer. Oh no, 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 it's just too bitter for me. No. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I. Mean, my my wife, she she's normally um white wine drinker. And we went we went away for a, a weekend once in Norfolk and we went to a craft beer bar and they had um Lin Lin Lindman's, is it? The the, the fruit beer, Lins. low ABV fruit beer. So I got a I got her all for that and she absolutely loved it. She drinks that quite a lot now. <laughs> yeah, no, if I go out on my beer adventures to bottle shops and I see anything like that, like a, a low ABV fruit beer, then I, I'll get it for her and she'll drink it and she's she's quite happy with it. Yet before she turned her nose up at it because it was because it was beer. All all beer's the same sort of attitude, and you know, 
opened her eyes and she quite likes it now. It's good. Yeah, everyone have a different different uh, taste. So yeah. Yeah, Max. Yeah, Max. For what it is, it's okay. No complaints with it. Why well, Yeah. Yes, def definitely. Yeah, solid again. Okay. Okay. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> this is very good what? uh maybe you should try the the um, you said, raspberry, you said raspberry one how it's called um frambery yeah yeah this is that, good. That fruity, that fruity that you sent me in the mystery beer box. Mm -hmm. Again, easy to get hold of beer, and it's it's quite nice. Strawberry fruity, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I saw the the uh, raspberry one in um, in uh, Sainsbury's mm. because in Tesco you, you you can have only uh, chicken beer. Yes. Mm. But both are very good. I like them. Yeah, it looks like we have a very, very uh, good uh, <laughs> chat uh, tonight. Yeah, I, I, I really I like it. I love it. Absolutely love it. What do you guys think about Witchwood Hub Goblin nowadays since Martin's got involved? Well, Witchwood Brewery is about... 10 miles away from me um and i can and on art can say that their beers have absolutely been fucking butchered since marston's put pen to paper um yeah they've still got a following still got a, a, a massive cult following but the the, the beer yeah it's, i mean obgoblin when it first come out whoosh, that was a proper hearty real ale um now it's uh, yeah it's still drinkable but it's nothing like it used to be yeah you know, what, you, you know what's uh, what's annoys me it's when you have completely different beer in cans and and bottles and with huge uh, abv difference uh and it's it's called the same thing so like oh, oh, wait, yeah. wait a second you know why why yeah. it's the same beer don't make no sense, does it? Don't make yeah. no sense at all. Um, I, I I try and do the odd Witchwood beer review every now and again, just just to keep it sort of localish. But nothing nothing really stands out to me from their range. Um, well, uh, for a long time they, they had no new beer, just the old ones. Yeah. I think I think on on cask they, they have a couple of new releases. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of a beer that they did ages ago and it got discontinued. Uh, I think it was like a ginger ale or something. That was really really nice. Was it Scarecrow or something like that? I can't remember. No, I can't remember this bit. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, it was some sort of ginger ginger ale, and that was really really good. And they think they stopped making it. That was the only beer that I really liked from them. <laughs> um, Black Witch. I've had that for a very long while. Um, Mister Thirsty, is it Doctor Thirsty? Um, Doctor Thirsty, I think. Doctor Thirsty golden ale or something like that i mean they're, they're all drinkable beers they're not like horrible or anything but they're just you know there's not really a great deal going on with them yeah they weren't like outstanding no <laughs> <laughs> don't 
directors again another another used to be another fantastic beer but now with just the brand nothing else nothing bare bones stuff gingerbread yeah that rings a bell dunkel festa well, yes i've had that a couple yeah. of times yeah you can get that from like aldi and lidl can't you for like 99p a bottle or something like that yeah usually around the halloween yeah yeah dunkel festa but i, I would rather drink it you know the you know King ginger of beard yeah ginger beers that's it ginger beard Yeah, I, I, I had many a bottles of that and, and quite liked it. I know a lot of people. King Goblin. That's now that's a beer that I don't think I've had before. Have you ever had that, Christoph? Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, like uh, pumped up a little bit uh, version of. Uh, so, so that's is is that their take on Green King's? um reserve sort of beer you know the ipa reserve or the yeah the it, reserve. it's high abv i think it's 6.5 yeah. strong strong english ale yeah i might have i might have had it in the past but i know I, I, I definitely haven't reviewed it yeah you know it's a good beer you know to try to try like uh, ice it or something uh, you get you can have even stronger beer Oh yeah, the directors now it's just uh, water and I think I was yeah, absolutely disgusting stuff. Yeah, ow. And it, then, then when, when, it, when, when you write, uh, when you read about, you know, that uh, it was a director's choice, you know, it, yeah. it was fruit like, to the directors. Yes, yeah. and they're like, what did yeah. they really try <laughs> like this beer? They'd be, they'd be, they'd, they, uh, if you brewed that for your gaffer and you went, there you go, I've brewed that for you, you'd get the sack, wouldn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you would, you get the sack. He goes, yeah, most probably wow. it was just, uh, uh, you know, twice this, this beard and, you know, in back in back days. Yes, yeah, it, 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 it is sorry to see. It is sorry to see. Is it that little bit of that little bit of history slowly get eroding away? It, yeah, but you can't you can't do anything about it. I've got I haven't, I haven't reviewed it. No, I haven't reviewed that. Well, we need to try it then. <laughs> Bishop uh, Sphinx is Spitfire. Mm, I'd probably go Bishop's Finger over Spitfire. Well, like I say, you know, when I've tried this like um, 10 years ago, or even more, no, 15 years ago, 15 years ago, it was completely different. And uh, at first, uh, I didn't like it at all. Um, it was something completely different than, uh, uh, than my, you know, full-bodied luggage. So, yeah. yeah, I didn't like it at all. Uh, and now, I can't really say how it how it used to be because I was avoiding those beers because of the first first um, experience. Hmm. Uh, I did review those beers, but well, it's not my favorite, definitely. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. In fact, I know. I know. I know. I have. I've. I've. I've drunk both, but I. Have, I don't think I've reviewed. I might have reviewed Bishop's Finger, but I, I. If I had a choice, I think I'd pick Bishop's Finger over Spitfire. Um. Hey, Danny's in the house. How are you doing, Danny, mate? <laughs> hey, guys. Are you bumping gums about? Well, we've we've we've, we've just reviewed two Fuller's beers um yeah. surprisingly the 
Hello Mellow Session IPA came out tops. Yeah, this much better. Cyclone West Coast IPA is just no, not not really a West Coast oh. IPA. And now we're just That's a disappointment to people. <laughs> any 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 comments, uh, Danny? Mate, you know, drop, drop a comment down below, mate. We're just <laughs> talking about random beers, really, from from past and present. Directly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think about? Be not really, not really. You know, I think if people still buying it, well, okay. Definitely, there will be changes in recipes because uh, some molds are discontinued. Uh, they are changing. Uh, hops are changing. You never have the same, the same. Even if you have the same uh, variety, you will not have the same amount of uh, alpha acids uh, in them from year to year. Like in wines, you know, every every year is different. So definitely, the beers will be changing. Uh, if it will be some shortage in some hops, they will change recipe definitely. So no. No, I think the market would uh, decide what they do, what they think. People would decide what they think about the BSC. If they are not, you know, drinkable anymore, they will stop buying them. I think for for me, the whether you, whether you like it or not, but the mass produced ales are always consistent. But with with some of these craft beers, which I noticed as well when, when, with the, the Tesco launch, so inconsistent that, that you know, the I mean loving eight, I many accounts of that and really really good, and then I got one once and it was absolutely foul, horrible consistency. But but that's that's across the board with with like other beers as well. You know you. They have a job to sort of keep up with it, maybe. I don't know, but with yeah, yeah I think that's the big difference, isn't it? It fluctuates, but with macro stuff, it just stays as it is. Yeah, definitely. You, you have you know different, uh, maybe small, but you have differences between one, uh, one, um, yeah, one brew and another one. Yeah, bass. It's just 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 an image now, bass. Used to, no. used to absolutely adore that. And just, it, just early nineties. Nothing interesting. Yeah, it's just it's appalling now. But in the, I used to live on that stuff in the early nineties. Bass, oh, lovely stuff. Awful now. Bloody brook water. <laughs> yes yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a good yeah well i used to i used to i used to drink uh, fax 10 percent all the time uh so yeah <laughs> it was a good yeah. beer it, it was yeah Rem reminisce about yeah reminisce about them sort of beers that's, and that's that was I think I was I was lucky enough because uh, uh, in my local brewery, uh, my local brewery was was bought by uh, Palm, and they were brewing you know their own stuff there. So uh, Palm, yeah, it was very very nice, nice beer yeah. as well. Right. I don't have to keep. I don't have to keep. Are you are you quite happy to keep rolling, Christoph? Or yeah, I know, you know, people are interested. So why yeah, not? it's pretty. It's pretty good. I, I do. I do like this interaction. I'm really. I'm really digging it at the moment. But I need to recharge my batteries because my glasses are empty. So <laughs> I need to go and grab a beer out the fridge. So I'll leave you in the good hands of Christoph. I'm sure he'll. Can you see the comments popping up, mate? Can you? Yeah, yeah, I see all of them. Yeah, cool. Right, I'll be back in a tick.
<laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely, I don't know how it used to be, but uh, present present uh, beer is just um, for now. Very drinkable. So yeah. Uh, do I have anything left in the bottle now? Oh, a little bit left. I wasn't drinking so so much. Nothing. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you know the local local uh, breweries are a quite good choice. Uh, they changing recipes, of course, but uh, yeah. Um, sometimes it's like when you're going to to brewery or you're just buying local local beer. It's just quite interesting. Uh, last last week I was in um, on Hoya Island. So I decided to buy some you know, local beer, and it was, it was a local beer, Lindis Van Brown A. Very good beer, really. As for a v not very popular uh, style as Brown A, it was very good. <laughs> so I replenished. <laughs> Uh, big smoke electric eye pale ale. This is a, a beer, beer 52 purchase. <clears throat> big smoke brewery in London, I think. 5% ABV. There yeah. we go. Nowadays, recharged. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, there there's many small breweries. Loom. Pipe loom. Elaborate on that, please, mate. None the wiser. Oh, well, pipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Pipeline. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind it. I've I've had a couple couple of boxes that are a bit hit and miss. I really I really like the German box that they did. The South Africa box was a bit up and down for me. Um, I think the best, the best was Polish one. Biased. <laughs> <laughs> did did they do? Was it a Russian one that they did as well, or? Uh, no, it was it, it oh, was oh, um, oh, one, something they did. Uh, yeah, it was like um, Croatia, Croatia, Bulgaria, yeah, something like this. Some of them were just not up to standard, I think. Yeah, uh, I think, was it was it was that the box that they had the Baltic Porter in that was like six percent ABV or something silly? Yeah, it was like. Uh, very strangely, yeah. Session Baltic Porter, yeah, definitely. It was very, <laughs> uh, I never, never saw such a low ABV on the Baltic Porter. But, uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, according to uh, you know, uh, style, it's possible, but nah, nah, it's got, it's, got to be, it's got to be in 10%, hasn't it, for that sort of style. Yeah, it, yeah, at least from eight, I would say eight percent. It's it's quite low and you know sessionable. Uh, I've I've sent you one. I've sent you one eight percent. It was um, Argus Porter. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Uh, uh, macro macro Porter, macro Baltic Porter, yeah. but it was it was spot on. That was D done done to perfection. Yeah, but quite quite sessionable. <laughs> I would say. Um, with quite a uh, light body. Yeah, the own beers are mm -hmm. the best, I would say. I, I, I messed about with that in my late teens. 
when I was I was I was living with my grandparents and I bought this back I bought this kit from this this uh I think it was a wine shop and it had like a little homebrew thing in the corner so I, I bought this starter kit and it was a uh, uh, the kit that came with it was like a, a, a Yorkshire best bitter four four and a half percent jobber so I did it all put it in the airing cupboard okay well, my granddad went ballistic at me it fucking smells like a bloody brewery in this room what are you playing at and it was it was foul stuff actually well it was horrible I ended up tipping it tipping it down the drain it was, it was <laughs> garbage. that was the last time I messed about with anything like that but I'm uh, uh, I'm intrigued to to do all that. I suppose it's just having time, isn't it? Time to do it all. Yeah, time and space. Yeah, and keep, uh, keeping the, keeping the missus happy as well. <laughs> Citizens of everywhere, not Brexit related, obviously. Yeah, Citizens of everywhere. That was that July's box, or was that June's? I can't remember now. Yeah, I can't, I, I, I'll keep uh, keep on with this beer fifty two thing, like though. Just... I'll review a couple of beers. I, I'll go for the ten box now. I upgraded from the eight to the ten, and I'll 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 put the odd couple of reviews in of of a certain beers from that box, and then the rest I just just drink at my own leisure, really. But you know what I think they like messing about uh, those beers because usually they are not the original beers, uh, but uh, brewed by you know, the own brewery and uh, not always the same standard as the originals. Uh, I remember it was a, such a such a thing that the uh, brewery was you know protesting you know that oh no it's not our beer you know it was it, it's not up to standard and no no no. Yeah. yeah, most definitely, Danny. Most definitely, mate. <sighs> Jesus, yeah. <laughs> so, you guys watching, um, any sort of suggestions for me and Christoph for, for future possible live reviews? Um, Anything that springs to mind that we can both hopefully get our hands on. Today's chat, I, I, I can see directors. <laughs> yeah, directors. Yeah, I did. I did review that last year. Uh, I wasn't happy yeah, with it, yeah. but I, I don't mind doing it again for a live review, just just for a laugh. A few Trump beers. <laughs> yeah, I think we can get our, get get our hands on a few ropey IABV lagers. <laughs> or um, what about Frosty Jack cider? Shall we go for that? <laughs> Iceland. You can get like a liter of it for about a quid. Yeah, you know. We should we should do those you know the three liters uh, uh, bottles. Why not? Oh, live feed from a local park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes to Frosty. We've got a yes to Frosty. <laughs> Frosty Jacks. I used to work with the bloke. He used to he used to swear by that stuff. We used to do a night shift, and it. it we used to we 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 start we start at six in the evening and finish at six in the morning. He got to about five o'clock in the morning. He'd be rubbing his hands together. <laughs> All right, a big smile on his face. Got a nice liter bottle of Frosty Jacks waiting for me when I get home. <laughs> Ten inch super. Don't stay around my neck of the woods. Hard to get, hard to get hold of tenants. I saw loads of it when I was in Rome, though. Funny enough, tenants. It's got a massive presence 
over in Rome. <clears throat> what we got here? K Cider. Ooh, I, again, another nineties throwback. That is for me. I used to drink McEwen's Export. Uh, that's not bad. It's not bad stuff. They do a whiskey version. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I get you, mate. I get you. I do find a pan out in Tenant Super. <laughs> I love, love it. Love it. <laughs> Uh, yes, we do. We do yeah. drink. I'll, I'll give anything a bash. Yes, I'll give anything a bash. And credit, credit where credit's due. Macro or craft. If I like it, then I'll I'll tell you I like it. You know, it it don't matter. I'm, I'm not going to go with the flow. Like I say, my guilty pleasure is Heineken. Amstel. Again, that's not enough. Half yeah. decent lager. Yeah, I, I like uh, Hulsh. Yeah, th this is good. Hulsh, Hulsh, yeah. The old swing top lid. Can't beat that. And, of course, Polish ones. Uh, but, yeah, it's my thing. Mm. I mean, we, we, we did mess about a little bit, didn't we, with, with some Polish craft beer, which, which came out on tops, you know. Yeah. Um, Br Br Brothers Jumostov. Really good stuff. Oh yeah, the the yeah, if lo lots of different collaborations in there. Yeah, <clears throat> they are very experimenting with everything what's possible. Yeah, we, we we need we need to see more breweries from Poland, craft breweries from Poland coming over here a little bit more. Get get a little bit more exposure. Yeah, it's very hard. Uh, because of stupid law in Poland that you can't buy anything on, on, online. Uh, you can order and pick up from brewery, but, pff, well, it is quite difficult. Yeah, it's not, that, that's stupid. That really is stupid. Uh, Dr. Brew as well. Fant yeah. Another fantastic Polish craft brewery. It's definitely there. I mean, Simon, he, 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 he swears by it. He goes out there once a year and and goes to a craft craft beer festivals over in Poland and you know it's definitely out there. There's a an array of Polish craft breweries, but we don't get off. We don't get to see half of it over here, which is a shame. Yeah, the, I don't know. there's a lot of lots of uh, Polish uh, craft breweries. Every year, there's this many, many more. If we see it about, yeah, yeah. If we see it about, we'll definitely give it a give it a bash. It's whether it sort of uh, graces our shores or not. There, that's the question. Carlsberg export actually, it's all right. That's the white can, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I didn't like that. But, but fair play to you, Danny, mate. If that's your if that's your tipple, fair play. <laughs> oh dear me! Oh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> oh well. Well, I think ev everyone is trying something different, uh, you know, different stuff. Uh, like, I I'm trying now, you know, to review everything what's possible. You know, the whiskey, gin, or cider, uh, why not? <laughs> yeah. Can't change me laugh. But it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
So I think we'll go for we'll, we'll do some sort of ropey cider. We'll do that, and then we'll get. I don't know. Should, should we should we go for a dodgy lager? Well, why not? What do you, what do you think we we should do? Which one? What can I get hold of, and what can you get hold of? Uh, Kestrel? Can you get Kestrel Super? Um, maybe in some local shop. Um, a year ago, I, I I saw this one. I think I can get hold of that local. Well, I need to check what, what what's available. <laughs> Definitely, it's not in any supermarket. Uh, so maybe in some some. Uh, Nicer or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Awkward silence. Yeah. Oh, embarrassing that is. Yeah, we'll go. We'll we'll go for that. We'll we'll definitely do a dodgy cider anyway. Fro Frosty Jacks, because you you've got an Iceland. I know you can get that. Yeah. I think it's everywhere. <laughs> I, I don't want to commit to three litre bottle though. That's the thing. <laughs> well, I will see what was. Probably it will be like a big bottle. Uh, I'm sure that I didn't saw this one in in small cans. No, two litre bottles. I think this is the smallest. <laughs> One delights dodgy cider. Yeah, well, we're, we're coming up. We're coming up with a dodgy cider review. Frosty Jacks. Watch this space. How about a bit of beer alchemy? Well, the beer, the, the furthest I'll stretch with beer alchemy is um, a black and tan, mate. Yeah, so I think we have a plan, right? We have a plan, yeah. Yeah, so uh, should, we, should we do uh, two different ciders? Or? Well, we could do. We could do. We could do. We could do a couple of ciders. Yeah. A sort of half decent one and a really really crap one, maybe. Oh, well, maybe. Um, right. So, frosty chuck. Frosty Jack and something something more crafty. Uh, well, Katie Cider is cracking, so if you're getting drunk, Katie hmm. Cider that rings a bell. No, Katie, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do, I think we'll do a dedicated cider live review. I think next, yeah. <clears throat> What, what, what I'll do, I'll, I'll message you in the comments anyway, and we'll we'll definitely go for Frosty Jack, though. We'll do that, and then whatever else we can get hold of. Yeah, and then we to check what, what's in the shops. Yeah, whatever's in the shops. Ka Katie, it does ring a bell. Oh, Rosie. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. I don't mind deciding now and again, so it'll be something different. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this uh, this live feed up now. Any fantastic? Thank you very much for your comments. It's been absolutely. I've really enjoyed it. It's lovely, yeah. absolutely yeah. lovely. Really good. We've had we've had a few live reviews in the past where it's been a bit stagnant with with comments, but I don't know. It just it just gives you a little lift when you know you've got people watching and, and commenting. And yeah, you know. I think I think the new platform is better because you you can oh, see, yeah. you can see those comments straight away and. Uh, you, you know, it's much faster communication, uh, not like that you have to check it and, you know, sometimes mm. you forgot about it. Yeah, it's really good. I, I love this platform, StreamYard. Knock, knocks the spots off Google. Yeah. The, the, whole, the whole layout and everything is just great. And it's, it's nice to have the, 
of the comments put up on the screen as well. Frosted yeah. Jack's trampane. Oh, yeah, it is the trampane. All right. Definitely. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be fun. That is. Uh, maybe in the next, what is it going to be? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks time. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of weeks time. Cider special. Kappa Black. Didn't even know that was about. Black. Go on, eh? elaborate on that, please, uh, Scott. Is it just like a black can? Or a five liter cake? Because it's black. Black? I mean, trees. <laughs> Pencil me in, law. You, 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 you're quite welcome to join, mate. It'd be nice to have a chat with you, actually, Danny. If you want to, uh, is there is there a way of me sending the link to you, mate? You, you're quite welcome to jump on board. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm. Um, could be a bit black. Well, I know that you know that uh, five liter keg is, is black. Yeah, it could be, could be. As no, I don't. I don't really pay much attention to the to the cider aisle. I probably should because I do. I do like cider. When it's when it's really red hot outside, there's nothing better than a, a cold beer, a cold cider. Oh, black current. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't know. None the wiser. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Once again, uh, big, yeah. Big, big thank you to all you guys for commenting. Really, really enjoyed it. It's been, it's been fun. Uh, big thank you to Christoph for sending me the two Fuller's beers. Yeah, it um, was my beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you. Thank you very much, mate. Um, yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cider special, I guess. <laughs> Take care guys. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Bye.